all this stuff? Mr. Sinclair gave specific instructions for everything. Where is he? You haven't seen him since you got him. He'll be here shortly. Is there anything else I can get you? No, I think he's got sort of everything. He always does. Now, if you'll excuse me. writing a book about Casey with him. Great. Mm. Aren't you excited? Well, no. I'm happy that Casey's gone home. Mom, mm -hmm. I'm going to Mom, is Mrs. Sinclair really as good as a writer as everyone else says she is? Oh, I don't know. He always gets good with you. I don't know why you won't let me read his stuff. Is it like... Don't x-ray this thing. No, it's not like that. It's just that, well, I, I don't think you should be reading stuff for entertainment. You're as you should be educating yourself. Um, you know, it would be nice <laughs> if I was able to tell him that I would tell you. No, I don't think it matters. You won't mind. Oh, yeah. On a day like this, how could anyone mind anything? Especially when the company is so lovely. You just like to thank you for inviting me. Well, it's my honor and my pleasure. Perhaps your mother would indulge us. Why don't you start out with a truffle or two, Robin? May I? Yeah, you make yourself sick. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. As for myself, you don't mind. Mm. It's a lovely day. Perfect, you see. Spent among good friends. Don't you agree? I thought it might rain. You're damn right you're not. You're not going to be wasting any of my time. I have a few words, and you're going to listen to them. Phone people before you drop in on their place of business. I apologize for that. Look, your tactics, look, your tactics aren't working with right now, Commissioner. Look, I realize that I get a little high-handed from time to time. Well, you get a little judgmental, too. Judgmental? Oh, wait a minute. Well, listen, last night this... you made your point very well, but I demand equal time, so now you're going to listen. And that must mean that you're about to tell me some of your secrets, then. I can't wait. Mm. Not quite. Not, not yet. There's certain reasons why I can't talk about this, this person. I don't think you have anything left to say to me. There's plenty to say. And as soon as I collar this guy, I'll say it. And then, and maybe only then, you'll realize that it had nothing to do with messing up my marriage. Maybe then again, you'll realize that it did. Thirteen years ago. So, thirteen years, that's how long it takes to forget your first love? I don't think that I'll be forgetting you thirteen years from now. You won't have to, because we'll still be together. Is this your attempt at trying to make me feel better here? I think your ideas are great. Really? Yes, but we mustn't forget to put our 
a mind on the essence of our song. Mm. Yes. Yeah, you know the the central theme. Oh, about the little girl and you and the Christmas. Uh, to my mind, their quest is secondary. You see, I'll, I'll put it slightly differently. Like the main theme is life's internal story. The fascinating tale about two amazingly different people who by chance find that they cross each other's path and are uh, bonded together forever. Bonded together forever. But that must be why Casey told me where he saw us, so we can always see with each other. Oh, I wonder whether Robin would like to see where you found those crystals. Might be interesting for her. Would you? Yes, I would. All right. What are we waiting for? It's right over here. I bet when we finish our book, you'll sit down one day and write your own. You really think so? No. I think we should be going, darling. Oh, do we have to? Yes. Yeah. Well, we can't write a book in one day, but uh, you can do one thing on your own. Sure. You can sit down and write a fictional description of your mother. I find that's a very good way to learn my characters. Is that what you do with the woman in Daphne? your book? Yeah. yeah. She becomes so real, sometimes so real, I feel I can touch her. Until next time, Robin. Jack, yeah. would you see the two ladies down to the pier? Yeah. The male, thank you. Have you been preoccupied? No. I just wanted to see her. Oh, thank you. Mm. I'm glad I was mistaken. But uh, thanks for a lovely afternoon. And it was a pleasure to meet Robin. Yes. Yeah. Until next time. You put your layer down over here somewhere. Don't worry about it. You want me to look for it? No need. The lighter's in good hands. As a matter of fact, it's serving a very useful purpose. My two favorite ladies at the picnic go. Oh, it was awesome. There were six kinds of everything there. And Mrs. St. Clair showed us a place where he found Casey's big crystal, and he was asking me all kinds of questions about how I think he should write a book. Well, I have money to go with this productive. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you want to go and wash up and, and make special care of the arms because of the poison ivy out there. Okay, okay oh. I'll tell you all about it later. But I tell you, Mrs. St. Clair is the greatest. <laughs> Wonderful. My kid's latest role model is a mass murderer. Stop. I got it. Yeah. <clears throat> his? Yes, it's his. I think it's all over. Good. At the risk of a bad pun, maybe this will give us the upper hand. Yeah, once the lab confirms that these are his fingerprints, then the Bureau's got to get involved. I'll talk to you the minute I have to report. 
I, I want an ID in writing, okay? Then we can get rid of him for good. 